Man rushes to save drowning stranger's life. Months later, she returns the favor. Everyone needs a break from their regular routine, and that's just what Attila Bosniak had in mind for his vacation in Goa, India. Everything was going according to plan. The yoga retreat soothed his stressed body, and as he walked across the beautiful beaches, he was at peace. But then everything changed when he heard a woman's cries for help. Attila Bosniak was living under constant pressure from his job. It wasn't always fun and games as a financial advisor, but Attila did what he could to decompress. One way he found was yoga, and as soon as he learned of a retreat, far away from the cold of Amsterdam, he jumped at the opportunity in 2019. He didn't expect it to change his life forever. Usually, Attila would be freezing cold in the February weather back in the Netherlands, but Goa's warm climate was the perfect vacation setting. He met a lot of new people in his yoga class who, like himself, were all beginners to the art. There were many others in different classes whom he'd never met during the two-week retreat, but fate would bring him closer to one woman. It was during one of Attila's breaks from yoga class that he decided to explore Goa's picturesque beaches. He took in the beautiful day as he took the quiet stroll by himself, and his only concern was the sudden choppiness of the waves. That tranquility would soon be disturbed when he saw movement within the dangerous waters. It was someone fighting for her life. No one else but Attila had seen the woman struggling to stay above the water because of the jagged rocks blocking the view. But there was little time to call for help. A sudden undertow was about to drag the woman to her death. Attila was confident that he could rescue her, so he ran to grab her hand, but soon both of them would realize that they needed rescuing. The woman saw Attila run to her and reached out. But as soon as their hands connected, the current dragged her down with even more force than before. She could sense that Attila was overwhelmed and wouldn't be able to save her by himself. Immediately thinking that this would be it for her, he made a risky move. Attila knew he couldn't pull the woman out of the water, as he just didn't have enough strength by himself to pull against the current. Because of the tall rocks, no one else around could see that two lives were now in danger. Attila realized that he had to call for help even if it would kill them both in the process. In choppy waters, Attila was aware he didn't want to be anywhere near the sharp rocks. If the waves tossed them onto them, the impact alone could kill them both. Even so, he continued to push himself and the woman closer and closer to the rocks, in an attempt to climb up and be seen. She thought he was crazy, but Attila was determined. The waves did slam Attila against the rocks a few times, but he was still pushing to the top, while making sure to take care of the woman stuck in the water. Finally, he managed to reach to a point where he could wave and shout for help. A lifeguard spotted him and ran to the rescue of the woman. Attila was able to swim back ashore, where he realized that he would need a little saving for himself. The woman was finally returned to land with only minor injuries, Though when she composed herself from the shock of her near death, she saw Attila sitting by himself on the beach, covered in bloody scrapes and bruises. Her heart sank. He'd gone so far for her, and she knew there was something she had to do for him. The woman ran to the nearest store for disinfectant to take care of Attila's wounds, and on a whim bought him a little treat of chocolate ice cream. When she ran back to a very exhausted Attila, she introduced herself, and realized the connection they had the entire time. Her name was Nupar Gupta, and she was actually one of the instructors at Attila's yoga retreat. Nupar was one of the many people Attila hadn't had the chance to meet, but fate brought their paths together. It would be a path as sweet as the ice cream Nupar brought him. As Nupar cared for Attila's wounds, they began to bond, but this was a much deeper connection than either had anticipated. Nupur knew, from that moment on there was a click, the beautiful Goan scenery faded away, and it was just the two of them, but then they had to leave. Once they knew that the other was alright, Attila and Nupur went their separate ways, back to their hotel rooms. They had no idea that the special feeling they had for each other was mutually shared, but at the same time there's always a lot you have to process after a dangerous incident like what they had just went through. 
both of them needed time to process everything that had just happened. They could have died after all, but within that time of coping with the near-death experience, they just couldn't stop thinking about each other. Attila even recalled, that was a magic moment. Later that evening, Attila and Nupur reconnected and under much better conditions, they reintroduced themselves. A quick hello was not enough for them, so they had dinner together. The conversation might have lingered on their life-or-death experience, but it gradually changed into something more enjoyable. Soon they were discussing more personal topics, like where they were from and what they were doing in Goa. They soon realized that they had so much in common and didn't want the dinner to end. But unfortunately, the night came to a close, and so did the 2019 yoga retreat. But that wasn't going to stop them. Attila was supposed to catch a flight back to Amsterdam, and Nupur was to take a train back to her home in Kerala, India. But they couldn't say goodbye yet, so they extended their stay in Goa. During that special time, they explored Goa and each other, and that click soon turned into deep feelings of love. It was a love that would be challenged, however. Long-distance relationships are never easy, but Nupur and Attila refused to end things. They'd talk all the time and even had plans to meet in the middle, literally. The plan was to travel to Dubai to see each other again, but family matters would have to come first for Nupur. As they were making plans for Dubai, Nupur's mother was diagnosed with a brain tumor and a risky surgery would have to follow. Nupur's travels would bring her to her family's home in Lucknow, India, to help take care of her mother. In spite of the sudden change, Attila knew what he had to do. Attila traveled to India to be with Nupur after her mother's surgery. It was thankfully a huge success, and having Attila to share that happy moment with meant the world to Nupur. After they reunited at the Delhi airport, Attila had a special surprise for Nupur. He would wait on it for a day or so. Nupur's mom was headed for a full recovery, and she still wanted Attila to meet her parents. She also decided to take a little time to bring Attila sightseeing, and it was at the Grand Taj Mahal that Attila bent down on one knee. In front of India's historic monument of love, Attila confessed his love for Nupur. It wasn't actually a marriage proposal, but it became a promise between the lovers that they would make it work. For Nupur, she was already prepared to say yes to marriage, but that would have to wait until March of 2020. Less than a year after Nupur's mom recovered, she and Attila were married. There were many more changes, too, between Nupur moving to Amsterdam and the couple hopping all over the world to meet friends and family. Attila might have saved Nupur's life on that fateful day, but it was Nupur who brought him a love that's sure to last through anything. They proved that romance can come from unusual circumstances, though fate can be a strange thing. <laughs>